Oh, that would be good. Uh, so, so here at the Qualcomm here at Mobile World Congress. So, who are you? My name is Michelle Layden Lee, and I'm with Qualcomm. I'd love to show off some great Snapdragon stuff to you. So today uh, has been uh, a Qualcomm press conference. So what did you announce? We actually announced two, uh, three new products we're very excited about. The first is a follow-on product to our very successful Snapdragon 800 processor, the Snapdragon 801. And what we've done with the Snapdragon 801 processor is we've actually upgraded um, that processor to include some great new feature enhancements and performance enhancements. So in addition to getting great higher performance overall on the part, we've also added things like DSDA, um, H.265 support, uh, we've upgraded the ISP, so the image signal processor, so it can support a larger um, uh, camera sensor, so much better uh, digital photography and camcorder, and so overall just getting a great, higher performing part with the Snapdragon 801. Has it 4K been improved? Um, 4K is the same as it was on Snapdragon 800, but because you have H.265, the compression technology, you're just going to have a or better overall experience with 4K. So right here you're showing 4K playback? We are. Come on over and take a look. Because they want to, they want to make sure that they can support okay. any what we're showing here is actually on the Snapdragon 805 processor, which is really our flagship uh, processor that we announced at CES. And what you see the difference between the left and the right side is we're actu actually showing everything that's on this television is being run off of our MDP right over here, which has a Snapdragon 805 processor in it. And what you see happening is an upscale to t from 1080p to 4K happening real time off of the processor. And on the left side, what you see is without Hollywood quality video. And on the right side, what you see is with. And you can see a really huge difference between just being able to clean up and getting everything beautiful and really looking like crystal clear 4K. So and that's, that's done with the Snapdragon 805 with Hollywood quality, quality video. So that's amazing, like in a, in a smartphone you're able to upscale to 4K. That's right, on and, the fly, and real all, time. All the stuff that you would need to get the best upscaling The possible. best upscaling and the, the most beautiful 4K quality, absolutely. So what else are you showing around sure. here? So if we come over here, what we're showcasing here um, on the bottom actually is a great little demo that actually shows what happens for our, for, uh, in our Snapdragon 805 with hardware tessellation. Uh, and if you watch closely, that little that little bug right there is actually showing right now it's a low polygon count. But you see with hardware tessellation, what we can get is a much richer uh, geography, if you will, within the, uh, the, the graphics core. And so all of a sudden you're going to get uh, really beautiful qualities you can see. You can see a lot more of the details of the bug. Um, you can see the wings, you can see uh, the shadowing. Just a really, really great technology. And up until recently, this was not available. It's only available on high-end workstations and, and high-end uh, So this is the computers. Adreno 420? This is the Adreno 420. With so hardware tessellation. How soon is uh, products coming come out with the 805? Uh, Snapdragon 805, we should have products in the second half of this year. All right, so do you have more stuff? Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Here's our, well here's our actually, here's our uh, expert right. in uh, graphics. Why don't, we, uh, don't we, uh, why don't we uh, show off some more? Other demos, story. what are the other demos? What you're seeing, what is this one? Right okay. In there? What you're seeing across the top are commercial games running on Snapdragon 800 devices. So these are just represent, representative samples of some of the best games that are currently available on Android devices. So is this is the same games that are already there, but you just render them even like higher, the best right. quality yet? Right. They just. Snapdragon has very wide compatibility with devices and software that are out there. So these games just run right out of Google Play and look this good. You know, running at 1080p on Snapdragon devices. In the middle here, we have a demonstration from Unity. Unity is a middleware company that helps game developers to easily port their game from one system to another and take advantage of what each system has to offer, so it's not the lowest common denominator. So using Unity, you're able to produce these types of images. Where you can see lots of different light sources, high resolution 2K <laughs> textures. This is also based on the standard OpenGL S3.0, which is a graphics programming standard, and again, helps the developer to get his game ported over quickly. Are you uh, able to do 4K gaming? Uh, actually, we do have 4K games running down over here. It's a little bit hard to see from really? here. So. 
When we say 4K gaming, these two tablets are running with internal 4K displays. So both of these are running at 4K resolution. Nice. And this, you can see the detail and the text and how easy it is to read, even at a very small size. And that's because of the very high pixel density that you get out of a 4K display. On this device, running the game here, Modern Combat 4, uh, Modern Combat is really showing off uh, how even today's games can take advantage of 4K. Now, it hasn't been authored specifically for 4K, but it sees that higher resolution frame buffer and automatically renders to it. So when the game developers begin actually authoring for 4K, then you're going to find a greater pixel density, higher resolution textures, more polygons. The games will look even better. So basically, when the 4K games arrive on Android, you support it on 805? That's correct. That's going to be awesome. It will be. Cool. <laughs> so uh, so there's, uh, there was a 610, the 615? Yes. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about that. We actually don't have them yet, but let me tell you a little bit about what we announced. We next two new processors, the Snapdragon 610 and the Snapdragon 615. Um, they're really for more of the high-end uh, smartphones and tablet segment. And we're very excited because actually the Snapdragon 615 is the first 64-bit capable octa-core solution with integrated LTE. So it brings our advanced LTE, uh, 4G LTE capability. It supports RF360, um, also an advanced capability for the modem. So uh, it, the ability to implement a single SKU for global roaming. Uh, we also have the, um, the octa-core version, so uh, just much higher performance, 64-bit. Uh, so as the industry transitions to 64-bit, we have the 64-bit capability in that product as well. It comes with enhanced ISP again, so that we get much better digital uh, imaging and a camcorder and video quality. And it also comes with the latest Adreno, and in this case, it's Adreno 405. So all of the great stuff that you've just seen with our Adreno and Snapdragon 805, Adreno 420, we're able to scale our GPU and actually offer the Adreno uh, 400 series in the 610 and the 615 as well so you get great graphics and gaming. How soon uh, are products going to be with those processors? We'll see those in the second half of this year as well. All right, so uh, do you say uh, more about what's the advantage of 64-bit? Is not only more RAM, well, it's the, a whole the, bunch of other things, right? The, yes, the key advantage of 64-bit really is twofold. First, we're moving from the V7 uh, instruction set to the V8 instruction set. That in and of itself is going to be much more efficient and, and much better performance. And then when we get to 64-bit capability with the increased memory, you're going to get overall better performance. So we're very, very excited to be moving in this direction. And a little bit before, you announced also this, the 410, right? That's right. We had the 410 that is also 64-bit capable part. And the really cool thing about it is that the 410 to the 610 and 615 is, is uh, software and pin compatible. So any of our customers that are already designing a 410 design can easily upgrade to 610 and 615. But did you say how many cores the 410 was? The 410 is a quad core. Quad core, right. but it's uh, below the 610. It is, it's, a, it's, it's really focused on a much different segment. It's focused for a mid-tier segment. The feature set is a little bit different. So for the 410, it supports 1080p, for example. Uh, it has a little bit uh, of different camera capability. When we get to the 600 series, we support 2K. Uh, we have a better ISP for more enhanced uh, digital camera and so forth. So you can see it's really, the 400 series is really focused more for the mid-tier, so more of the mass market smartphone, whereas the 600 series is more of the high end, and then of course the 805 for the premium tier. And are they all on the 28 nanometer? Process? Yes, they are all in 28 nanometer. Uh, is it lower power than 800 series or is it something like that? Or no, not? you know what's really interesting is we think that consumers, no matter what your budget, you should have the best possible experience at whatever your budget is for your smartphone or your tablet. So one of the key things that we do is no matter what we do, we always optimize for power performance. You can't have one without the other. No matter what segment in, you're in and no matter what your budget, you should still have a great experience at the lowest possible power because interestingly, across the world, World, one of the top purchase criteria for consumers is always longer battery life. That is a key criteria when they buy their phone or tablet. So whenever we design, we design with both power and performance in mind. You can't have one without the other. You really have to be optimized in every segment for that power performance. And can I just ask the 4K camera? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is like uh, th there's been improvements in each of the new processors, or? For the, di the key difference between the, uh, in the 4K between 800, 801 to 805 is we've added 4K display. 
So for the Snapdragon 800 and 801, we can encode and decode in 4K. When we get to 805, you can actually do on-device 4K support, which means that now your tablet can have a 4K display, which is really cool.